So hello, in this video we'll just show you how uh, to use a PS4 controller on a PC and have no issues with it. So basically we need uh, two, two uh, separate softwares and let's go and download them. So the first one will be um, DS4 Windows and for to search for it you just need to Google DS4 Windows GitHub and the first link by Ryochan7, that's it, that's the one we need. So download the version for your PC, for me it's uh, 64 bits, um, I will download this zip file and the next one is hit hide and just type hit hide in Google and don't open this first link, just go to uh, releases in here uh, from GitHub also releases and search in assets for hit hide.msi, that's the installation. I already have it installed, so the installation is pretty straightforward, just next, next, next. So uh, don't install it yet, we need to install the other one first. So just download the hithide.msi, and for this for Windows you just have to extract the zip file. Uh, I'll put it in my D folder in here, in my games folder. Okay, so once you have this for Windows in here, you open it. And the first time you open it, it will ask you if you want to um, save your profile's data in the same program folder or in the app data. Um, I personally use the program folder, it does not matter which one you use. And after that, the first time you open it, I already have the uh, drivers installed, so I did not get this, but you should get this one also, this uh, pop-up, the first time you open it. You just need to hit install the VigM bus driver. And then afterwards, you just uh, go directly to step four and install hit hide driver. So once you have both of these installed, you will just install it uh, directly. Once you have both of those installed, you need to install the MSI thing that we downloaded, hit hide.msi, the installation here. You install that one also. And then you just, uh, you're ready to go. Okay. So first, let me just press Windows R and go type in here joy.cpl now this will give you the list of controllers that um, that windows can see all right so right now i will open my playstation 4 controller and you can see as soon as i open it uh, we have wireless controller in here that's the playstation 4 controller and when i press start on ds4 windows you can see that it also created a virtual xbox um, controller now this will work for most games but for some games you will have double input so basically what happens is the game sees both the playstation 4 controller the real one and the the virtual xbox controller so when you put when you press a button it will the game will count it as if you pressed it twice because it will see the real press from the real PlayStation 4 controller and the real press and the press from the virtual controller created by uh, the virtual Xbox controller created by DS4 Windows. So what you need to do is basically hide the real controller from Windows and from games and only let DS4 Windows see it. So let's just uh, you can see it in here also. If you hover over this X, it will say shared access. So what we need to do is just to stop the uh, DS4 windows so right now we only have the real PlayStation 4 controller and search for hit hide configuration client and in here basically we need to add the application uh, that will uh, uh, basically identify the application that will be allowed to look through the uh, cloak and uh, we just need to set DS4 windows in here and then go to devices Check the checkbox near the Sony Computer Entertainment Wireless Controller and enable device hiding. Okay, so right now you can see that Windows will not see the PlayStation 4 controller anymore. And if we start in here, um, make sure you close the hit hide uh, configuration client. It won't work if you have it still open. And if you start right now, you can see that right now I have this hit hide access key. And you can see that uh, Windows will only see the the uh, virtual Xbox controller and will not see the real PlayStation 4 controller anymore. So uh, that's basically uh, the whole 
setup. Now you don't need to do this every time right now. Once it's set up, you just open these four windows and it will have hit height access by default. So I hope that helped and uh, yeah.